Hi folks, it's Max from HCCBoneHacks.com. I've got a quick ROM overview of Pac-Man ROM uh, for your HCC Evo 3D. I've got the GSM and also the Sprint uh, Evo 3D here, available for both. Now with the Sprint version, uh, your camera will work, but uh, your photo, uh, your video camcorder uh, might freeze. So that's one thing, if you do need the camcorder on the Sprint version, um, just to make sure you know that before you install it. For the GSM version, um, the camera is working just fine. And let me show you real quick. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and focus on those Androids there. Looking very nice. And also video is also working just fine, as you can see there. So very nice uh, for GS GSM version. Now let me show you around uh, the Pac-Man ROM. Uh, one of the coolest features about Pac-Man ROM is that it's a mix of AOKP, CM 10.1, and Paranoid Android. Um, so you get features from all those three ROMs. Now this uh, Pac-Man ROM does have the latest Halo feature from Paranoid Android. Um, so you have, if you have a bunch of notifications, uh, you can see I've got Facebook there, my Gmail, um, and also this is, I believe, is my Google. No, this is my Google Talk. So that will bring up my Google Talk. If I want to go to my Facebook, I can choose it like that also. And that should bring up, sorry, I might have to do that. And you can get rid of it. Yeah, there we go. So it was just my Facebook. And also you can go to Gmail and it will show up on top the Hello floating, Halo floating notifications, which is really awesome. And uh, once you're done reading your email, uh, replying to your Facebook tweet, you can go ahead and swipe up and that'll get rid of it. Um, and also, if you double tab, you can move it around and also get rid of it completely. There you go. And also, if you need it, you can put it back there. If you swipe down, it's going to go kind of off to the side so you can barely see it and you get a notification, you can put it back in. Um, so very nice. That's the newest feature. Other than that, um, you get all of the ROM control features, make it dark, this will make everything dark, including your keyboard. Um, it's going to invert your uh, some of your Google Play stuff, uh, like Google Play Store um, and calendar and stuff like that. And also, you do get all of the customizations from ROM control here. Let me go ahead and get rid of it for now. Um, I have a full tutorial guide on that, so watch that for fully uh, utilizing AOKP ROM control. And also hybrid uh, paranoid Android settings, you can get PA colors, uh, run your favorite apps in uh, you know tablet or phone mode. Now you'll notice that my settings is in tablet mode. Let's say you don't want that, then you can go, let me just show you one example. You can go to apps, go find the app, uh, which for this one is the settings app. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, change it. Uh, back to the phone mode. So I'm going to go ahead, go all the way down to, um, oops, actually you know what, it could be under a different uh, menu. Oh, there we go, settings right there. So go to settings if you want to change it. And I'm going to go ahead and change the UI to 360. And also make the size back to 320, that'll make, it, make the fonts bigger. I hit OK, launch, and for some reason I still have the tablet mode there. Um, you can try it again, and I'm going to go ahead and find hybrid ROM control settings. Oh, you know what? You might have to actually make it even smaller. So let's go back and tweak it a little bit. 320, it should be about right. So let me try 370 about there. Oh, it didn't change for some reason. 360. All right, let me hit apply, launch, and there we go. So I've got it in uh, regular phone mode, and I think this is better for this phone. And also, um, yeah, that's that's about it, and you get all the performance control. There's no overclocking on this ROM, and if you don't need the soft buttons, uh, there is an easy way to get rid of it. Go to hybrid properties, go to interface here, and make the nav bar zero and hit apply. And this should get rid of it. There you go. So if you don't need the soft keys, 
um, you can do that. But you can be on the latest Android 4.2.2 with this Pac-Man ROM and also get the feature from Paranoid Android. Uh, since Paranoid Android uh, official builds are not available for the Evo 3D, you can get it through this ROM. The new Halo, Halo feature it should be uh, getting better and better. Um, but right now it is a pretty good time to install it. So definitely check it out for both GSM and the uh, Sprint CDMA Evo 3D. And do let me know what you think. And also, as I mentioned, the camcorder on the Sprint version is not working correctly. It will freeze up on you. So if that's a concern, don't install this ROM for the Sprint version. But the GSM version works just fine. Um, so do check it out for this week's ROM of the week for the, both of the th Evo 3Ds. And do let me know what you think. And as always, if you have an Evo 3D, don't forget to sign up for my email list at hccvohacks.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the week, stuff like this. And uh, also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me down here. Subscribe button down there or wherever it is. And I'll see you guys soon. Uh, stay high on Android. Uh.